Hey guys, you're here about Arrows Crashing Destiny 2. The latest patch fixed a bug where shooting arrows would actually crash the game. This was something that I submitted to Bungie. So how broken was it? First, this required two people and one is a titan. Shooting arrows at a barricade repeatedly would crash the game. Not a soft crash, not an error code, but literally force quit it. This is an uncommon type of problem. Usually you would get something like error code B, and it only gets nastier. It did this on all platforms and for all players. If you went into patrol, PvP, gambit, whatever, you could kill the entire lobby. All the players gone, disconnected. Doing a heroic public event, gone. About to lose trials, kick everyone from the game. And it's not something you could trace. You couldn't prove who did it or why it happened or how it happened. Totally game breaking, and not in a good way. So take a moment with me to learn how this all happened. On August 21st, Bungie disabled the coin flip emote. This was in fact my fault for showing using the emote to solo flawless Pit of Heresy and Shattered Throne without getting attacked by any enemies. Some people hated me for it and said I'm ruining the game. But what you didn't hear about was how Arrows got trials cancelled, and that's because I didn't make it public knowledge. It wasn't something that benefited people, so I prevented trials from being cancelled. I'm not trying to ruin the game, break the game sure, but not ruin it for other players. When Bungie tweeted that the coin flip was disabled on Twitter, players had lots of questions, so I sent them a link to my video showing why it was disabled. So as I was tweeting, I noticed Smug Loli commented asking where he could report a bad glitch. He found a broken one. Glitches being my reason for living, I asked him what it was. I took the time to reach out to him since Bungie never replies. He told me having two people shooting Trinity Ghoul at a barricade would crash the game. Naturally, I wanted to know more details. He said he would love for it to reach Bungie privately, if at all possible, publicly if necessary. So the first thing I did was put my theories to the test. I called out to the cheese whisperer Hyperdeath, the man I know who can keep a secret. We conducted several tests. It so happened that all you needed was arrows. Arrows broke the game. Trinity Ghoul was the best for this because it shot three arrows at once. Putting my thinking cap on, I remembered I had access to the community manager DMG's direct message feature on Twitter. This was due to him collecting my information for winning the fashion contest last year. He pretty much said the bare minimum and ghosted me. I've never had an actual conversation with Bungie up until this point, so I thought it was a long shot. Sure enough, when I said, glitch crash in your game, DMG was interested to know, so I shared a video privately with him. This is something I found interesting. According to the video analytics, 19 different people saw this video, a video proving that the game has a high priority bug. So that's me, DMG, and 17 or so Bungie affiliates most views of which were found on Monday when they came to work. Viewed from Windows PCs, this private video link was passed from Twitter to Bungie.com and then shared using TFS. Microsoft Team Foundation Server is a way to keep team members organized when tackling projects. That means Bungie was immediately on top of this bug and got it patched in a month. But there's one more thing that I noticed. One of them was subscribed to me. Not DMG, though. So rest assured, when I post a glitch, someone at Bungie who works on bugs is immediately notified. I don't need to hand submit my videos to Bungie. They already know when you know. DMG thanked me for the information, and now we will never speak again. I don't have ties to Bungie. They don't invite me to their outings or events. But with a stroke of luck, we avoided a lot of bad press for Bungie. And that's thanks to a community of good-hearted glitchers. Bungie sees the same glitches you do. They even play their own game. A self-proclaimed intern at Bungie said that my videos get brought up when bugs are being discussed, and while some employees are tired of the constant problems I bring up, others are thankful. I save them tons of work. I found a problem, I show them what it does and how to reproduce it. I spend hours finding and testing glitches, figuring out how they work, and then how to apply those glitches to situations. Whenever I find out a glitch, I try to improve it. I try to expand on its usefulness. 
and those are hours that Bungie can spend on fixing the real problems, hours they won't have to spend finding and testing them. This channel is a win-win. Bungie has me, a bug tester that works tirelessly, and they don't spend a dime, and you have a glitch that can keep you entertained. Maybe it leads to loot, maybe it's just for fun. These videos help people accomplish incredible things. I'm in it for the oh my gosh you can actually do that moments. I hope to continually provide a variety of tips and cheeses for the employees and the players alike. And if maybe Bungie wanted to invite me over sometime, that would be nice. Wink wink. I'm hoping to hit 100k subs soon. Even in these dry times, glitches are still coming. I still have ideas and things to share. I just had my first child, which is why I was on vacation for a week, so things are looking up for me. Thanks for all of your support. Cheese forever, Guardian.